Hi and welcome to another episode of PSC Plays Guns FC with me Andy. We are looking at the board screen and <laughs> insecure job security. I don't know how much longer this save is going to go on to be fair. Um, financially we're really under the cosh, minus 215,000 at the moment. It's not going to get any better. Um, the only thing that I'm trying to do is not get relegated this season and just clear almost all the players out because there's not many players here are good enough for this level, I must admit. Um, really, it's not through want of trying. <laughs> I really want to bring players in. Nobody will come in who make any difference to the squad at the moment. So we have a quick look at the um, the games that have been. Um, it's not been complete disaster. We left with that 1-0 loss against South Shields. Now, they are top of the table, so that was a relatively good game. But then we played through... Um, yeah, we pretty much gave them the game in the first half there with an own goal and 26 minute goal from forward. But Josh Wakeville got a goal back. He's been playing quite well actually. Uh, and yeah, they go 3 1 up um, on the 47th minute. And yeah, that was that pretty much. Gloucester, we lost 1 0 away. Um, Marcus Warden got sent off. And then they go and score in the 91st minute. Um, we've had a couple of sendings off that have really caused us issues. Um, games would have got at least a point in, I, I, I think. Um, Paul Town, 2-1 win, that wasn't bad at all, Max Talboys has come out as being a bit of a player. Now he's been playing both in a sort of advanced playmaker attack and midfield role, um, but I've also been playing him up front um, and training him to try and be a complete forward because stats pr sort of present the fact that he might be a decent set as complete forward or definitely the best one we've got in the club. So, um, But yeah, he's been, been playing well and uh, that was a nice 2-1 win. Followed up by a 2-1 loss to Staines, and this was a gut punch, because 1-0 up, cruising, Josh Wakefield gets sent off. Now, both of these sending offs we've had, no way were they sending off, but we've appealed and obviously not got anything out of it. He got two match ban for that one. And uh, yeah, 74th and 76th, they won 2-1, so that was another. Three points gone, any points gone. Lost 2-1 to Kings Langley. Now, um, yeah, that was... <laughs> 2-1 by 28 minutes, and then we just couldn't break them down at all. But yeah, it's we're always on the cusp. I mean, this Swindon Supermarine game, lost 2-0, um, was just after half-time. And the little patches of the games where they just completely fall asleep. But then we did come back and beat Western Supermare 2-1, Max Talboys and Liam Triggs. Um, this is the start of us playing um, a formation we'll play today, which is basically trying to run it all through the middle, play wing backs and just like try and yeah try and dominate the middle, overrun it. Um yeah, this was a good game. I mean they came back to two one, but that was because I was having to take people off because they were absolutely shattered because we've had lots of um a couple of now at least a couple of postponements because of weather because Guernsey as I've said this earlier on in, in, in the save, always rained. Literally the game the games we've been playing at home it's just been raining all the time as well. But yeah, we've had to um, cancel the game. I mean, we were going to come back today for Hendon, but that was cancelled because of rain as well. So we're actually away to Pontifla Pontifract Collieries today in what is a, a bit of a, a ding-dong must-win game at the bottom. And yeah, we've still got Hungerfield, Hungerford to discuss. Um, brilliant comeback. They were tuning up. Uh, Mark Watts, um, yeah... Been playing him as well up front with with um, Max Tailboys. Um, it's just showing. That I, I think no matter what stats say, so no matter what the attributes say, or anything on the screen says, seems to matter. And I think there's a um, a guy that does a lot of stuff on Football Manager. If you're watching this, you'll most likely know who he is. Called Cleon, and he really does do a lot of tactical oversights and overviews and he he's he likes doing the no attribute management which I think yeah it's just watching the players playing and see what they do and see how they play where they play and give them opportunities to play in quite a few different positions uh, and just see how they perform together um, at the end of the day the attributes sort of don't come into it in a lot of respects but uh, I've been finding seeing players, watching players a little bit closer um, and not worrying so much about the attributes, tend, it's seeming to work a little bit better at the moment. 
so yeah, that that two all it was uh, yeah good comeback, and then we just played a little friendly because we had a a game break and we had another week off in the middle because that was that Hendon game that got postponed, so we've had loads of time off. Um, so I'm here today for Pontefract Collieries. If we just quickly go to what we're playing, so we're playing wing backs. Andrew Byrne is now our best player at the club. Um, he's been I've been getting those um, uh, news reports saying how he's he's coming on leaps and bounds really quickly. Um, so he's now our best player. Uh, but him and Eels have been playing relatively good together, though this seems to yeah they've got a decent partnership. The problem I have with Byrne and Bruce, it always said they their partnership was rubbish, even though they play well in the positions. So I've been playing these two together, um, and they've been really good. Um, yeah, Homer Smith and, and Liam Triggs wing backing. Um, Arthur Warren's come back in as this uh, sort of anchor man role just to try and give us almost like a back, back five. But then in the middle of midfield, yeah, Wakefield's been running the show as a ball winning midfielder in the middle with okay, yeah, you go playing advanced playmaker. And I'm playing Charlie Higgins today because he's had a bit of a whinge that so he's not getting any game time. And he's him and Charlton Govain are not that much different. Um, with regards to ability, so I'm giving him a game today. But yeah, Mark Watts is this attacking forward. I'm having Max Towers playing as a pressing forward, but I can switch that to sort of complete forward. And um, yeah, we're playing overlaps, relatively wide, standard passing, a bit higher in the tempo. It just seems that lower tempo, they just come on at us, and um, we, we won't get anything from games. Counter pressing, countering, high lines, and, and urgent, and yeah. Let's see what happens. So if I just quickly go back, everybody's on. Yeah, pretty much everybody's on 100% because they haven't had a game in two weeks. I'm hoping that, that doesn't hurt us. So it's um, been having a few whinges from lots of different players about getting game time. Um, I'm going to passionately say underdogs. No, let's just give them faith like they always do. And we shall see how we get on. So we kick off, and they have the kick off. We're in sunny Yorkshire. Oh, I think Bonnie Fraction in Yorkshire. And um, yeah, as we can see here, we're 21st, um, but we've got games in hand. So if we can get a couple of wins, we can pull out of the, um, the relegation spots, which would be immense. Um, if we get relegated, we get relegated. I think it's going to be a case of episodes. You get maybe a couple of episodes per season. One at the start of the year, one at Christmas, or three. One at the start of the year, one at Christmas, and one at the end of the year, just to see how we're going. The problem with that is playthroughs take forever. But yet, yeah, Triggs in the middle, and Josh Wakefield scores 1-0. That was a lovely little delivery of a free kick from Liam Triggs, who's been playing quite well recently. He's been getting forward, and he's using the wing-back side of his game quite well. It's raining again. That's up in York at this time. Yeah. Nice goal. Hugo wants to play attacking playmaker, I think, in midfield. He doesn't want to play any higher up. He's a funny funny player. He doesn't seem to do anything apart from playing that advanced playmaker role. And even that is shown as a 6.6 .6 today. So, yeah, it's just getting players to play together. I mean, our guys up front getting a front two that work together as well be be something. I think I might be changing Max Towers to play as a complete forward for the second half. And lots of games like this where nothing much happens. So Hugo's got the ball. Ball out to Henry Smith. Oh, so many times where the players just get dispossessed. And this is going to be one all I think. Oh, it's a good stop by Tommy Scott. Just mistakes. I don't know how you stop mistakes from players. Come on, Andy Byrne, get it. Get it gone. Let's get to half time at 1 0, that'd be lovely. Half time 1 0. That says a lot, doesn't it? Not much to talk about with regards to the game. Let's just say, passionately happy with your performance, just to give him a nice little lift. I'm going to put Towboys as an attack. Complete forward um, and just see if that does anything. Now in the middle of midfield, Charlie's in a 6-8, 6-7, so that's going quite well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay at the moment, isn't it? It's not desperate. 
So, uh, yeah. It just seems that when teams... Oh, they've got a free kick. Oh, the post. They've always been going in recently, so maybe a little bit of luck's coming our way. Oh, he's gone. Oh, it's just... All these excellent tackles as well. I don't think... I've not had anybody sent off against me for a while. These tier 7 players, the, so many of their the goals for the other seat. Oh, injury. I'm just going to have to let this play out now, aren't I? Picked them all over. Oh, just so rubbish. And we can't do anything about it. Just not got the players. Just ball over. All <laughs> oh, right, let's pause it there. So Charlie Higgins is definitely injured, isn't he? So Charlie Cavan can man for man come on for that. Yeah, Max Tailboys and Mark Watts are not working together today. I'm going to put Max back in his preferred role there and have Mark Watts up front and let's play it like that. Yeah, they're going to score again. Oh no, oh, good header by Burn. They are going to score, aren't they? no confidence in the team at all because no matter what we seem to do never seems to be enough anything happening here? Uh, points not too bad I'd rather get a win though because we can't just keep getting points and expect to get out of this conundrum ok they've got another ball picked and Fletcher come on chap it's just awful. Just get on the ball, for God's sake. That's better. Come on, Mark. All the way. Oh, nearly. That was okay. Could have put the ball in the middle. Right, what have we got? Yeah, they're not doing anything really, are they? So the problem is I've got these attackers here and attack there. Um, do I bring town boys off for another striker? Because it just doesn't. I can't get strikers to work. I just can't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's almost like I need to put width, get some width in the team, but I could. Yeah, you know, I'm not even given us an opportunity to have width, am I? So I'm gonna take Arthur off because he's looking a bit shattered. I'm gonna play Max to the left and Mark to the uh, sorry, Mark to the left and Max to the right, and see if just. Zagging them a little bit helps. I'm going to come off balance and go on a cautious. Yeah, they're bossing it at the moment. I'm going to pause it there. Yeah, Max isn't doing anything, is he? Um, do I shut up shop and bring in another defensive midfielder on? <laughs> um, I might just play around with this, might not. I'm gonna take Watts off, I'm gonna put bring him. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have him there, and I'm gonna have player 4222, but with a Coley as a a shadow striker, play yeah. Play it like that. I know I've never played this one before, even for a few minutes. Let's just see how it goes. Don't think anything's going to happen, to be fair. But... Yeah. Just something to try and upset the apple cart a little bit, because, yeah, it's not good. It does look like it's it, though. One all, so another point. We've not lost in a few games now, either. And they just seem to be happy with everybody thought you get beaten, so they love that. 
it's just that they almost that they they think like they're a lower league a lower league and what we're playing at club, and um, that's really difficult. So I think what I might do is, unless it looks like we're really on our way down or there's some really important games, um, I might just play this through. So unless, I mean, yeah, unless you get to sort of five, four or five games left, I mean, Gosport are on the bottom, so they might be an important game. But if we get to sort of around here, because, I mean, yeah, we've got, what, two, a win and two draws in the last three league games, so that's, you know, five out of nine is not too bad. If we continue doing that sort of thing, we might be able to get out of this, but if we get to, I don't know, say, Gosport or Gloucester or something like that, and it's still fraught, I'll do an episode, otherwise I'm going to take us all the way at the end. Because if we get out of it, there's going to be nothing much to watch, look at anyway. And I'm, yeah, I think I'm just going to continually not change formation, just play it and play it and play it and see what happens. Anyway, if you've uh, liked what you've seen today, um, leave, a, leave a thumbs up, that'd be lovely. Uh, subscribe for this sort of content. Now, if I'm going to keep playing through like that, they take ages. This is going out on Friday. Might not have an episode on Monday, it might be Wednesday next week, because, uh, yeah, as I say, playing that many games takes yonks, but, yeah. Anyway, yeah, hopefully um, I'll see you soon, and, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.